All right, guys, so it is day three. These guys are doing okay. They were up all over the, the brooder box this morning. Or it's like, it's two o'clock. It's morning for me. I'm on second shift. But one thing that I noticed was this little feller right here. I think that's going to be a hen. I'm not sure. But you can see, I was a little concerned because she spends a lot of time on her legs. But there you can see that she's up, she's standing on her feet, and she's walking. So she's getting under her feet a little bit. She's getting trampled right now. She's getting underneath her feet a little more. Uh, I was a little concerned that might be some splay leg going on. But uh, turns out that, I don't know. She's, she's getting up on her feet and walking around. She's doing good. But uh, like right there, she's up on her feet. She is standing. And she's spending a little more time on her feet than on her legs. Anyway, I saw that. When I was when I was editing the, the first vlog and uh, what have you, but anyway, there we go. Welcome to Quell Vlog number two. So here's the deal: Quell are doing great, and it's been a few days. And uh, if you're watching my fishing lures videos, you just got an update on them. You got to take a little peek in on them. But uh, so what we're doing today. Like I said, in, in, in quote vlog number one, I mentioned that my plan is to have about 200 birds. And I plan to be on a cycle where every two weeks, every two weeks, I'm going to be butchering quail for meat in the freezer. And we're going to be harvesting eggs and doing all that. <coughs> Uh, so what I got to do is do some some uh, some management. I need to find some more quail, and I need to find some new blood because I don't want to breed what I have with what I have too many times. Break down genetics. Now what I have is a blend. What I have is not all brothers and sisters, so I should be able to breed three generations until I need new blood. So I got, uh, I found some new quail farmers that I'll be able to, to uh, I found some new quail farmers that I'll be able to get new blood from and uh, kind of mix my flock in, so I'm kind of excited about that. So. Records is next on my list, but first, I've been rat holing away a little money, and I had to explain to my wife last night that I was rat holing away a little money. To which, you know, oh, how come you, you haven't been spending that on all this garbage you've been? Well, it's because I've been rat holing it for a purchase. Here's here's the thing: the purchase is I I'm going to need an incubator, so I have my eyes set. On a Nurture Right 360. I don't know why. It's just that one appeals to me. Now I know that there's a, a Styrofoam version, a, a Hover Bader or something, Hoover Bader incubator. So anyway, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want one with the, the egg turner built into it. I want one that set it and forget it. I want one that I can see inside. I want one that uh, I, everything is on the exterior of this. Once I place the eggs in the incubator, until day 14, 15, I don't have to touch them. I can see them. They're going to rotate on their own. They're going to do their thing. And it's, it's set it and forget it. And then in lockdown, Everything is still on the outside. I'm gonna I'm gonna touch the eggs one time after I put them in. I gotta touch them one time to take them out of the rotator. And if I if I unless I lay a piece of, of cloth down that, that that drawer liner so they don't get splay leg, I don't even have to touch them then. All I have to do is reach in and pull out the, the uh, pull out the dial, the rotator dial. Anyway, I got a couple other checks that came in, and uh, I'm going to put that with the 
dollars and I have to get to the Dollar Tree because I slept on my glasses last night and broke the frame off of it. So, Dollar Tree, bake, tractor supply. Let's make that happen. Hey guys, so we're at Tractor Supply. Stopped by the bank, got a new pair of glasses from the Dollar Tree, and that's the best place to get glasses because I'm pretty sure I broke mine falling asleep on a couch with them last night. So I always buy the cheap stuff. <clears throat> I bought quality before. The same thing happened though. I fall asleep in them and they break. So let's go get our incubator. Now they're supposed to have one in stock, it says online. In stock, pick up at your store. So that means they're probably not going to have one. Let's go find out. Look at there. Last one. Last one on the shelf. And we got a cage too. So let's get home, put these things together, and see what happens. Okay, so got me a new pair of glasses at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to tear these up pretty soon, I guarantee you. Stop by Bueno in the bank, got the money, got some, some some food in my belly, and I picked up the very last Nurture Right 360 they had on the shelf. Now, and you can hear them over there. Now, here's the thing, I hate buying the last one on the shelf, because there's no tape on here. What if somebody opened this, realized it was broken or cracked or something, left it on the shelf? I don't know. So, let's open it up. Try not to shake the table too much. Let's open it up. Find out what you get inside a Nutrite 360. I'm so happy I was able to pick this up. All right, so cracking the box open. This is like Christmas time. Ooh. First off, instructions. <clears throat> do we need these? Yes, we do. We're going to read these. I'm not going to read them to you. I'll, 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 exp I'll summarize after I've done that, but it looks pretty simple. I don't have a book. I have a flyer, so that is good. Let's set that aside. All right. Cardboard. Some more cardboard. Some more cardboard. I bet you there's some cords in that one. And then, now this still looks like factory. I don't think this has been opened. It'd be nice if it was in some, you know, plastic, a plastic bag or what have you. All right, so let's discard the box. Get rid of this cardboard. Scoot this back so you guys can see it. So here is the Nutri Right 360. You can see 360 degrees around. The box, it is a little marred, scuffed up here, a little scuffed up here. Still got the blue tape on it from the factory, and this is from the cardboard. Uh, got the vent, got the A and the B. Uh, there's supposed to be, I thought, a cap on the A side, but I don't care. That's that's that. So we get this blue tape off. It doesn't look like it's ever been peeled off, so. I am the first one to peel this off from the factory. Let's get it off the back. Awesome. And from the from the research I've done, this is the power. No, 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 no. This is the egg turner that goes up here into the egg turner. And then my power supply should be in here. Yes. Yes, power supply is in here so this goes to the brick and then this goes to this right here so opening this up <clears throat> it's indexed i like that it's a little scuffed up from the factory i don't know if you can see that uh, and it's a little scuffed up right in here from factory but what I like is that you can put all your quail eggs inside here and this will spin and turn your eggs for you so you don't have to get in here and turn the eggs. One of the complaints that I heard was 
Maybe this was this a return? There's a little something in here. What is that? It's a little something. A little something in there. It's a little dirty. Could be dust. Could be who knows what. And that's a little dirty. Right there, that's it's a little dirty. So my suspicions in buying the last one on the shelf is that somebody's used it, hatched out what they needed, cleaned it up the best they could, put it back in the box and returned it to the store. Because it was not wrapped in plastic. It kind of looks... I don't know, it's dirty here too. Maybe, maybe that was the case. Maybe somebody used it. So let's turn it on. Do that much. Just to satisfy my curiosity that I did not purchase something that is used. So that's just going to drop right in there and it's indexed. Okay. Okay. And there should have been an A. No, no. Shows on the box. There's no... There's no cover on the A side, just the B side. So, I'm just, I'm thinking. I'm thinking stuff. Okay, so, this is the cordage for the egg turner. Let's get that unwrapped. Okay, let's put this back on here. And this goes into, well, I gotta put it on correctly put this back on here this goes into the slot marked egg turner and this okay I can tell this has never been plugged in before it's a tight snug fit all right yeah so maybe it's just dirty from the factory who knows maybe it's just dirty from the factory so let's get this oh we got a vent there and a vent up front. All right, let's plug this guy in. Who do we plug this guy in at? See if this will reach the plug in I use for my microwave, for my base station. All right, so we'll plug that in. Let's see if we can reach the power strip. And we're alive. We are alive. So this is this is the life we have, the temperature and the humidity and all the settings. Uh, days displayed, days to hatch. Okay, 21 days. We're gonna can I decrease that? No, it's just going to, well, there, okay, maybe there is a way to change that. I don't know. I don't know. Egg turning. Press both these buttons at once to test. So there is the egg turning works. And then we have the candler right here to candle the eggs. I've heard that's not the best. My Shire Farm says that's not the best. Maybe they've improved it. I don't know. I can't see right now because I looked at the light. So it's it's bright. Let me tell you that. So Nurture Right 360. I'm ready for some eggs. I want to go get some eggs today to make that happen. And uh, we're going to read the instructions on that guy first. And it's already up to 72 degrees. Let's set that aside. Set that aside. All right. So here's the thing. That's not all we bought. That is not all we bought. We bought a cage too. And I'm kind of scared to open this cage because there are some very bad reviews on it. Okay, now here's where we're gonna go with this. 
I've heard, I've read, I understand that you can put two to three birds per square foot. Okay. I have 12 behind me in the brooder box, which is nothing more than a tote and some wire cloth over the top so they don't pop out of that. I've already had one escape while I changed the water. <laughs> she was an escape artist, but I caught her very quickly. I put her back in the brooder box and she's happy with food and water. Uh, so I got this Dunmar cage. It's not Dunmar. It's Dumor. D-U-M-O-R, do more cage. And in my research, I found that the cost of wire cloth today and welded wire today, it was going to cost me more to make a cage than it would just to buy this cage. Now the reviews on this cage are not that great. They say that this cage, the sides don't meet up. The, uh, the grids don't meet where the clamps are supposed to go. You'll have a bar where the clamp is supposed to clamp onto, and it's all welded together so you can't move the clamp. Uh, that they ended up using J clamps or hog ties or bands or fencing wire or something to keep it together because they couldn't rely on that. But so I'm hoping those are really old reviews, and I'm hoping that this is corrected, that they've changed it, that they've made some changes. So here's the plan this corner back here. It's going to be no longer Christmas storage. I have Halloween decorations. I have Christmas decorations. I have uh, tinsel, tree, uh, Christmas lights, color changing graveyard scenes for stuff. I have my dust collector for my shop smith over there. Uh, that's all going to get cleared out. And I'm going to do stackable cages, which is why I went with the do more. So, I don't want to mess this up, so we're going to set this guy up here, just like that. Let's grab the do more, 36 by 30, small animal cage, and get it set up. Alright, can you see that? Kind of designed for rabbits. They call it a rabbit cage, but they also call it a small animal, small animal cage. So, let's... Set these over here before I break them. And see if the uh, reviews are what they are. Let's figure this out. Let's do our own review of the, uh, the Do More Small Animal Slash Rabbit Cage. Goodness. Where are we hung up on? Okay, we're just coming out of weird angles. It's all self-contained right there. And there are instructions in the bottom of the box. Let's get those out of there. Lose that box. Peruse these quickly. Throw those away. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, obviously the top. Set that aside. Okay, it's already connected. So there is basically very assembly required. Looks like everything is matching up exactly how it's supposed to. Let's bring this side up, interlock that piece, interlock that piece, interlock that piece. So there's the front. There's the door. Everything looks good to me. All right, so the, so whoever made this cage before, for Dumar, Dumor, obviously Dumor had said, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna toughen the standards up a little bit here, guys, because we're getting bad reviews on this thing. Because everything so far looks good. Now let's get the top on. 
because this might be where everything goes bad. Lines up, that lines up. Okay, that's good. That just popped out. This is this goes here. And this goes here. This goes under, this goes over. Under over. Spin this around. This goes under. So far everything is lining up perfectly. Look at that. Okay, so here's the thing that I like about this. This is 30, 36 by 30, and this should be by 18. Should be 18 tall, 36 wide, 30 deep. Okay? Now the website shows it's 18 wide, 36 tall, which is obviously wrong, and people are upset about that. People are losing their minds in the comments that this cage is not 18 long, 36 tall, and they want clarification, and idiots are just repeating what the website says. It's like, no, that's obviously wrong. You can tell by the picture it's not 18. So let me, let me find a tape measure. We'll throw it on this, get the actual dimensions. And it should be 36, 30, 18. That's what I wanted. I'll be right back. Okay, can't find a tape measure, but I got a laser. And that's the, uh, that's the next best thing. So, we'll set it up here. I'll shoot my hand. And it is three feet exactly. Okay, so I'll just set it up here. I'll shoot my hand. And we are two foot six inches. So that is 30 inches exactly. So we'll set it up here and shoot the table. We are one foot six inches. That's 18 inches. So it is exactly it is exactly 36 by 30 by 18 tall, not 18 wide by 36 high. The website is definitely wrong on that. So all my corners match up. Everything looks good. I'm gonna zip tie these. Here's the, here's the, I'm gonna get a pair of pliers and just crimp that down a little bit so it holds a little more firm. I'll roll these back, roll these down. I'm pretty sure it probably says that on the website. Here is, uh, here's one instance where somebody had said that the, uh, the clip did not match up. It's right in the middle of a bar. That's, not really an issue. I think I can manage to swing it to the side a little bit, clamp that down. That's a non-issue for me because this side over here lines up pretty well. But I want to. What I'll do is I'll just put some zip ties around it and make that happen. So let's see this cage right here in comparison to the size of some quails. Let's put some quails in here. All right, so I'm gonna tell you one thing that I do like that I just found as far as raising quail in these cages is that when you open the door, you have a lip here that's pretty deep. And the quail, they're not that quite that tall, so they, don't, well, they won't have the propensity to jump out because there's nothing there. There's actually something holding them back. And you can tell they're very vocal. They like their new home, I guess. That uh, you can tell that the uh, there's plenty of room. I mean, look, they're all huddled up over there. And this is this is my baby. I, I feel sorry for her. She she's walking on her legs. She's she's walking more on her feet now. But I want to get her off of this off of this wire. So you guys watch the birds. 
I'm gonna put her back in the. Come here, come here, girl. You're good. I see your legs are getting strong. Let's put you back in here on the. Put you right there. You're good. You're good. Dude, you hang tight. <laughs> so there's plenty of room for coil in here. And I don't think they mind the life jackets in the way, but there's these brackets on here that's going to allow me to run a 2x4 and set this cage in a stackable configuration where I can put three, four cages in a, in a, in a tier. Put some casters on the bottom, roll these out, clean them, and make everything just easily accessible. I'll get a, a tray to slide underneath because that's sold separately. But for this cage, for the price, for the price I was going to pay to make this myself, it took me 10 seconds, 15 seconds to put together. Less than a minute, I know that. And this is $40. It was going to cost me for the 1x2 wire, it was going to cost me $40 for a 10 foot roll of that stuff. I'm sure you can find it cheaper. That's just where I was looking. I looked at uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, and uh, I didn't look at Tractor Supply. I should have looked there. But I figure it's already made. It's big enough. It's got the right wire on the bottom. It's got the right wire on the sides. It has the opportunity brackets here for me to expand these and turn it into a larger system. And it is plenty big enough. Plenty big enough for the number of chicks I have. Of course, I have little girl down here she's underneath the heat lamp and uh, until we figure out what's going on with her legs we'll keep her on the uh keep her on the the pine mulch but these guys here they, they don't have a problem walking on the wire even at their age so hey quail vlog number two we got the cage since we're going to start incubating our own eggs and uh raising these and we want to get the numbers up to 200 birds we, we're going to need a few of these so these are pre-built ready to go we, we, we can stack them we can build the shelves they will become the shelf support and structure themselves and they're plenty big for the quail and 18 inches is the recommended height for whenever they popcorn up that they don't bruise themselves i, I don't think they're going to break their necks i think that's a wise old wives tale but uh, I think that uh, 18 inches is, is good enough height for the birds because some cages, some cages are just tall enough for them to walk around. And that's, I think that's a little bit, a little bit on the cruel side of uh, raising quail. So look at this, this is amazing. I'll do the math, seven, let's say seven and a half square feet. If this is seven and a half square feet, that's 14, 15 you can fit 15 birds in here that's that's 11 birds right there i think we can fit a lot more birds in this cage but these are still these are adolescents so that's it for quail that's it for the quail vlog part two uh if you guys like the quail you want to you want to give me some advice on what i'm doing because i'm brand new at this i could really use whatever advice you guys can throw at me um we got that. This is a. The shop is air conditioned. It's got a window unit. Uh, I got the heat lamp. Uh, I got. Uh, uh, I got the poultry feed. I got the wire that I'm using for the brooder box. I got. I got. I got to do some housekeeping in here. I got to get rid of some stuff. I got to get the Christmas stuff and the Halloween stuff upstairs. Dedicate that corner to them. I'll put some insulation up there, and probably put some of that plastic shower board up there so i can clean it easily because i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have poop on the walls pretty sure that's gonna happen but uh yeah if you guys can help me out with some advice uh i'd appreciate it because i'm just reading books and watching videos like like the next guy and they've already pooped all over my table so i'm gonna get these back in the brooder give these guys some fresh bedding put them back in the brooder but uh we'll see uh which these guys should be laying in a few more weeks. We'll hatch those eggs out. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find some new eggs and uh, see if I can find some adult birds too. I think I found a few breeders that I can go to. But uh, that's it. You guys take care. We got an incubator. We got a cage. I'll pick up another cage next week. 
I'll pick up another cage after that. I'm going to have four cages in the next month. We're going to clean this out. We're going to build. I got two by fours over there. We're going to build this into a modular cage and uh, make that happen. It's going to be great. We're going to have food. We're going to have eggs, meat, and birds. It's going to be great. I'm loving it. You guys take care, and we'll see you next time.